Hey Star Liquor fans, it's that time of week again, Free Beer Friday, the prodigal son returns. We got Sadie from Founders. Woohoo! Woo How's it going? Good, good. We just uh, plowed through a whole bunch of beer, so. I know, it was intense. Mm -hmm. It didn't even seem that busy, and it was busy. It was we like drew a little steady. bit of a crowd, I think. It's you. What I can I say? So. I thought it was you, but you know. I mean, I think it's a team effort. We really pull together when times are tough. It's true. <laughs> Is Madison a good f market for founders? Oh yeah, absolutely. You got a, and especially this neighborhood, you got a lot of people that are interested in trying different beers, and um, you know, craft beer can be a little bit pricier, but uh. once you understand the quality is so much better. And um, well, they put out so many special beers that people mm -hmm. are like, "Can you save me one of those? Can you save me one of those?" And I'm like, "Dude, we only get six of them." Yeah, definitely. And you know, with the tappings around town, you can tell it's. Founders definitely has a following in, in Madison. It's a great company. I know it's from Michigan, and I kind of, you know, I don't hate Michigan. <laughs> uh -oh. But, you know, there's a bit of a rivalry going on, and so I like to stick close to home, but Founders is definitely one of my favorite breweries, I'd say. It draws you outside of your comfort zone. It does. It makes mm -hmm. me a little, I'm like, I'm drinking this, and I like it, and it's not from Wisconsin, and I'm okay with that. And you know, that's kind of the point of Founders. We like to make beers that, um you know, that we like to drink, and they're going to be a little bit bolder and a little bigger, and they are. hopefully people want to jump on that train, and if not, well, at least they can try it today. They can try it. They did try it. They Holy did try it, cow. they liked it. They did. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Um, this question says, always something unusual. Founders yeah. always does have unusual things. I think they're kind of like a, an experimental brewery, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Like, they do push the envelope for... I hear, but I heard, I heard, I heard a rumor. Uh oh. Cerise no longer. There, there may be. Um, Cerise may be going bye bye. Yeah. But Is we'll, it because of the cherries? There's a number of factors. We're we're pretty much retooling the seasonal program, so you're oh. gonna see a bunch of changes. Um, hopefully everyone's gonna like what we're doing. There's gonna be a lot more options. Hopefully some more um, availability of some of the limited stuff. Cool. It's still gonna be. There's still going to be those rarities that are tough to find, and we're working as hard as we can to get them out to everyone. But I like it. Yeah, you'll see you'll see some new stuff from from founders. Sometimes you know you gotta lose a few along the way to get something new. Casualties, mm -hmm. casualties. What do you think is the most high demand beer? Definitely the KBS, which is our mm -hmm. imperial um, coffee stout that's aged in um, bourbon barrels for a year in a cave yeah. in Grand Rapids. Um, basically, we spend um, an entire week, 24 hours a day, brewing the base for this beer, which is actually different than the breakfast stout, which is our seasonal release. It's, right. Um, it's a bit stronger. Um, but we spend an entire week doing that, um, and then we start aging it. And, you know, after that week, we got to start brewing the, the regular standbys, otherwise those are... Going to fall by the wayside. No, it's so funny. To happen. I had a friend who went to a fish show... And set his alarm just so it said KBS breakfast out. <laughs> so that he could, like, wake up. And I swear he came in. He was a little... I'm not going to name any names, but you know who you are. Came in. He was a little, you know, more energetic than I thought he would be. Yeah? Yeah, he had kind of a... I think he had a good night. A spring <laughs> but he, in his step. He had a spring in his step, and he was Very in nice. here for his for the breakfast out. Excellent. Yeah. Grand Rapids... I'm segueing. Grand okay, Rapids yeah, let's, really let's isn't that far from Madison. Is how far it? is it? I don't even know. I guess it depends on how you go. If you if you want to like skim across the pond, you basically shoot to a scene and and cross over that. Fast way. forward. But, yeah. Yeah. The ferry. Um, if you take a plane from Milwaukee, it takes thirty minutes. Kinda wow. Kind of trippy because when you. Um, yeah, there's a time change. Yeah. So then when you come back. One of the so ways you're in the you future. Up, yeah, exactly. You end up um, uh, coming back uh, before you left. See, that's another reason so. why, like, Wisconsin is better than Michigan, because, like, when you leave Michigan in an airplane, you arrive in Wisconsin in the future. That's true. You, you all of a sudden, it's like... Fact. <laughs> you've gone back in time, or forward in time. Do you guys do brewery tours? We don't. And the reason uh, we don't is because we are really concerned about the quality of our beer. You don't so, want, like, people's hair in it? Yeah, we, we want to avoid, avoid, you know, opening and closing the doors too much and whatever is on your clothes or wow. you know, your saliva if you're 
if we have people going through every day, um, there is a chance that um, that the beers will face some contamination. In it. Sure, it's um, like a like a. Well, I was just gonna. I just hit it on the tip of my tongue. It's like a contamination-free zone. Exactly, and you know, um, obviously the brewers are in there, but they take special precautions. And uh, but sanitation is a huge part of um, good brewing. And you know, if, if you have clean equipment, that's like step one. That's really um, interesting because so many people do brewery tours. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying that it's necessarily um, a bad thing that they do. It's just something that we've decided. It's just another possible contaminant that we mm-hmm. just want to eliminate completely. Yeah. So we're not, you know, we're not saying don't do brewery tours. We just don't do them. Yeah. But if you do go to the brewery, there's there's um, a um, huge tap room with great food, sandwiches, Ooh. snacks, um, and a ton of beer that um, are just... You know, you've got the, the standbys, but some specialty stuff that, um, you know, doesn't really get released. It's, mm-hmm. The brewers get to experiment and have some fun. And, that um, sounds awesome. Yeah, so, so, like, can, is there anything crazy coming out? Like, is there anything crazy on the horizon we can expect, or should we just go... Go with the flow? Go to the tap room. Um, you know, so a lot of the stuff that's in the tap room doesn't ever make it out here. Mm-hmm. Even, you know, in those special releases, it's just something that the, the brewers wanted to play around with. But, like I said, we're changing the seasonals, and... Um, and our release program. So you are going to see some new stuff. Um, I honestly don't know what all that's going to be yet. That's still kind of um, under wraps. Up in the air. So yeah, I like it. I like it. Secret. Top secret. Yeah. I yeah. like it. I think they just don't want me to run my mouth. So they're not <laughs> I hear you. I have that problem a lot, too. Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, how did your tasting today go? Really well. Um, we, uh, we did all the founders... Uh, yeah, you, and, and you did Oscars, because yeah. you represent Oscars, too. Yep, we, we did a little uh, craft beer train, I like to call it. We lined up a, a bunch of different beers and kind of went through the lineup and did a little comparison with the Scotch Ales and the Pale Ales, seeing the differences between the two breweries, and um, and got to taste some of the breakfast out, which just came out last yeah. week for... That's one of my season. faves. And mm-hmm. su- uh, you know, like, I know it's fall when the breakfast out comes out. Yeah. It's like when Oberon comes out for Bells, you know it's summer. Yeah. When the breakfast out from Founders comes out, you know it's, like, calm down fall time. Mm-hmm. And it kind of came at the perfect time because it's actually below 100 degrees for the first time in a while. I know, right? So it's like it's like the weather sent the, the, the breakfast out release. Everything synchronistically came together. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Sadie, for coming. And remember, guys, free beer every Friday from 3 to 7 at Star Liquor. 4 to 7. 4 to (laughs) 7. Hey. Maybe it's a time zone thing. Yeah, I was was on Michigan time. (laughs) Bye, guys.